took a long evening with Steve. This time's only going to be selected highlights. I'll um, put the recipe in the description below as usual. And it's me cooking, just for a change. See what a cocker pie can make of it. That's the onion, garlic and chilli going in. I'm using a red onion by the way. Now the reason you want the root still on is because when you come to dice that, you're going to do just short roots. Steve's really good, he's given a master class on how to cut an onion, dice an onion. The great thing about Steve as you're cooking along is he'll give you some hints and tips. So for instance he just explained about um, making sure the oil is hot before you put the onions in um, so that you actually fry the onions rather than the onions soak up the oil. I've added a whole green chilli in here, so this could be this could be quite warm. <laughs> but it is a cold winter's evening. Steve, no, not too much chilli. Oh my god! What? Thank you. Some spices here. Done my tomatoes already prepared. Kitchen porter, where are you? The, uh, the, the KP to wash up. The 
So as you can see now, how that the spices have taken all the fat. Yeah, look, all the fat's gone. All the oil has disappeared. I was nearly going to put some more oil in. But as Steve has just said, very, very easily burn those spices. So just be very gentle with it. Be gentle with it. I'm gentle, Steve. I'm gentle. And then what we want to do is add the tomatoes. Now we can add the tomatoes. Yeah. Turn the pan back up now. Some chicken stock. Now, you don't have to use chicken stock, you can use um, water, but I always like to put a little bit of chicken stock. It's like chicken stock. Chicken stock? Yeah. Now, what we should do really is just put a lid on that. Apologies to the residents of North Kilworth because so the, um, happy, they open their back doors or their windows. The smell emanating from the marina would be quite strong at this we moment because there's 14 of us all making the same dish. Or they're not quite that far, they could unmute themselves and let Steve know, please. Just going to put that up, turn the temperature up a little bit on the gas. As you know, I'm not used to cooking on gas, so. This I see is every all time Andy is, uh, when I come back on screen, Andy's got a beer in his hand. Good one. Yeah, well, that's because you're not drinking the beer. That's where we're at at the moment. Excellent. I don't know what Steve's looked like. Well, I'm just having a little bit of a clean up. Have a clean up. I see people are still working. How's it going, Tony? Is it going better than when Jan did it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Oh, sorry, hold on. Hold on. Oh. I'm saying nothing, Steve. <laughs> Have you still got European um, butter mountain on board? <laughs> I'll be quiet. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Can you smell the flavour of this? It's just absolutely incredible. And what we're trying to do, we just want to knead it just to caramelise it and get it to, to a stage where, you see, when you caramelise things, it always gives it a little bit of flavour. Uh, <coughs> Cooking, aren't you, Jim? <laughs> now, in no! Cooking, it smells amazing. Using our new cast iron three litre pot that we bought today. We didn't have one. Yeah, yeah everything we've got is too big. <coughs> Dish for the KP.
Right. right. Now I'm going to the little boy's room. This time I'm going to close the door. It looks like I've got to take over. No. <laughs> Yeah, I've got some ground sour and some more chilli. Now you don't have to put all that chilli in, but I, I like it. Oh, I think you put it down. Well, in the same pan here. The sauce into there, like so. Are we doing? Has anybody got their sauce and tea? And then he doesn't have the sauce. I'm still cooking my chicken steak. Turn it off. Right, we'll wait for a minute then to a brush. Little handy little device here. Gotta go, gotta go. Ah, ah. All right. This one's got no pain, it's got A level. That's all right then. You can't see that, unfortunately. I'll just lift it up. Right. 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 Now, some nice bits on the bottom. It's gone a bit hard, as you'd expect. It's so called the gubbins. Gubbins, is it? Gubbins. But we need to soften the veg. We don't need to, really. According to the recipe... <coughs> he's, oh, he's, he's added his sauce, so now he's adding his chicken. Two minutes. Two minutes. First things first. We need some liquid refreshment while this is cooking for two minutes. Ooh, interesting wine. That's a uh, beef steak. Wellington Melbeck. Sorry, Wellington Malbec Merlot from South Africa. Beef and Liberty. Apologies to the vegetarian and vegans who happen to be watching. We probably will do a vegetarian dish at some point. So there we go, they're, they're nice and soft now. No, put your hand in. Put your got the gear on. Got the gear, got the gear. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. So they're now softened. I have put some red chilies in there, so this is going to be quite warm. I'm not sure Jan's going to eat it, but there you go. So now we're going to put the sauce in. And we put the chicken back in. You can do this with chicken on the bone, by the way. No, I'm, I'm dis I've decided to um, do chicken thighs, boneless. There's some juice there, don't waste it, put that in. And hand that to the KP. Alongside the now disused frying pan. Give this a stir. Miss please, I need a frying pan. Let me just show people what we're doing here. I'm just mixing this all together. Now, 
scrape the bottom of the pan because there's all that goodness and all that flavour on the bottom. Um, Steve did recommend making a sort of like a little roux, um, just in a, a sauce thickener if you like, but um, it actually looks here like I could do with some li extra liquid to add into it. So just a little bit of water. Have you ever seen anybody using a dessert spoon to measure the quantity of rice? Voila! Get really, really hot, and then put the dry chilies in, so you scorch them, and then get some hot water, and pour them Should really have a hot water for this. And let it boil for about five minutes, and then just take it off the heat, and let it um, go cold, and you've got this fantastic chili stock, which is amazing. I told my brother about this the other day, and, and ideally, with brown rice, you should wash it first. Gets the starch out of it, and then it doesn't stick. But we'll just put that on. I'm not doing the rice. I'm not doing the rice from the recipe. Um, I'm just doing um, basic brown rice. Brown basmati rice. It's not straight in your mouth. Um, um, it Best thing to do as but well is to not to stir that rice. The temptation now is to stir it. If you stir will, that, the water will go cloudy and that will activate the starch. The and then it will naturally go in. I'm making naan bread with uh, yogurt and self-raising flour. That's a first, isn't it, Tad? Yeah, I've never done that before. You need to knead it like normal bread. What are you doing, Tom? Uh, well, I'm usually pretty crap at um, pastry. This is looking not too bad, but um, the taste will, the test will be in the tasting, I suppose. I think you might need to cut it into four and then roll them into naan bread sizes. Fair enough, yeah, let's do that then. So let's grab a knife. On the red wine. Okay. Right, so we've got four. And then roll them into a naan. A naan shape. Shape. Nothing phallic, he said. <laughs> How thick do you think? Thinner than that, I think. I've never made them before, so. Neither have I. I'll just buy them, like most people do, probably. Right, naan bread time. Put them on a hot pan. No oil. We'll put another one in. You've got to make sure that the inside's cooked as well, so I'll just leave it on for a bit longer. It is on a high heat, so. Oh, so we've made a right mess here. <laughs> he has, not me. <laughs> cover in flour, it says. What do you cover in flour? Me, that's right, the chef. Right down. While you get a chance, do a bit of cleaning up. Just giving Jan a little bit. I'm going to take the cardamom pot out. So I don't think she wants to eat that. And the naan bread. 
And there we go. Jam? Oh, a bit more than that. Oh, okay, help yourself on. How many pieces of chicken are in there? Six of them. I think I might need a dollar for it. Chefs. There we go. Doing there. The there we go. Hopefully you can see that. Looking good. Oh yeah, now you see you are looking right. Same with that. Don't look at me. Ding!